everybody, this is Napa Fan here on the Enroll Away channel, and we are here at the Texas Motor Speedway to qualify for race number eight in season number four of the Enroll Away Napa Truck Series. It's going to be for the Carhartt 400K. It's going to be under the lights tomorrow, but qualifying during the day here today at the Texas Motor Speedway. And uh, have these 40 drivers ready to get a lap started here and see where they're going to start for tomorrow's 34 lap event. I believe it's going to be a 50 mile race, so one of the longer races of the season. Um, of course, tomorrow's race will be under the lights, so uh, what you see here is going to be a little bit different than what we're going to see tomorrow evening. Uh, because uh, the safer barriers and all that on the uh, night version of the racetrack here. It's just the old version and uh, just a blank wall. Um, kind of interesting, but it's still the same racetrack. Still the same camera angle, so we'll, uh, we'll go with it. And I uh, got the number 24 here of Justin Heath, who uh, is 21 points behind. He's fifth in the points coming into this event. Uh, he's had a nice season so far, and if you're wondering where his secondary scheme is, it's going to be run later in the season, the uh, final few races of this season. Made a little bit of a mistake, forgot to randomize his uh, schemes and all that, and uh, I just uh, didn't get to it. Um, so I ended up putting in a bunch of the uh, races at the end of the season. Kind of a little bit of a mistake there, my bad. But don't worry, that other 24 scheme will be run kind of later on in the season. Here is the defending winner of this race, and uh, definitely a good sign for John Arn, who is last in the points of the full-time drivers. He definitely needs to turn it around here, and if there's any place where he can do that, it's here. The defending winner of this race in that 05 truck. A lot of guys coming out right now. There's Nicholas Aby in the 51. Eight of Emily Anderson. Gaju in the number six. Number 16 of Garrett Sidnor. Sonor is another one of those guys who wants to turn his season around. He's also a past Texas winner. Won the Turkey Hill Series here, I believe it was last season. Right now, fastest qualifying is the number 47 of Tanner Palau. Um, and that's great for him. He's an uncharted driver. Needs to be one of the top four uncharted drivers in this race, in this qualifying session, I should say. Ying Canario, who's 13 points behind our points leader, Alexander Rowe, is second. And there's Patrick Smith, Justin Heath, and the 49 of Donovan Duthip, the top five, Trey Bartow, Garrett Tenor, Eli Bright, points leader Alexander Rowe, and we're going to focus on him here. He's all by himself right now. Donovan Duthip just went to the top of the board. Justin Heath just took it away from him, so the 24 looking fast right now. But uh, Alexander Rowe, points leader in this series. You see Trey Bartow in the 33 there. Nicholas Samadio. Matt, Matt Tuck in Canario. Canario's pushed outside the top 10 now. How fast these guys are going here in Texas and how fast these times change. Diego Yepes up to second. It's Heath, Yepes, Dufit, Smith, Patrick Smith. And that just changed again as Eli Bright went to... Oh my goodness, it changed yet again. Now, John Sheets, Nicholas Aby, Justin Heath, Eli Bright, and Diego Yepes. You got to talk fast if you want to get that all in there. There's the 05 of John Arndt, defending winner of this event. 19th right now. And I'm hoping this guy improves here. I want to see him run good tomorrow night because I'm, I'm sick and tired of seeing this guy getting poor finishes like he is. I'm sure he is as well. Of course, this is definitely the place. He's got a good chance to uh, get some redemption from the tough season he's had so far. Nicholas Samadio just went to third. And trying to locate that number 24. Oh my, we got a lot of action going on here. How about Zach Ryan taking the third spot away from his teammate? Nicholas Samadio, Justin Heath. You know, Justin Heath, he has done a fantastic job. He's the first guy out there. He's gone to the top of the board twice. He along with Al Legacy and Marty Johnson. And now the top three. And then it's John Sheets, Tristan Allen in the number 98. Drafting behind these guys, Cameron Gaju, Alex Bonsignor. Now Alex Bonsignor is 17 points behind Alexander Rowe. Tanner Palau to second. And that just changed again. Cookie Helms to the top of the board now on the number 29. 
and Marty Johnson in second with Justin Heath, Tanner Palau, and Al Legacy. Clocking in some fast times here at Texas. This is definitely a fantastic racetrack. You see these guys fanning out here. They're all spread out here. And right now that number 29 is top of the board here at the Texas Motor Speedway. Anyways, I was about to discuss somebody. Get who it was. Alex Bonson were 17 points behind Alexander Rowe. He had led in the points. First six races of the season. At the end of uh, last week's race at Pocono, he has lost it to the number 22. Currently, Alex Bonsignor is deep in the field, I do believe. I don't see him. He's 32nd right now, so not the best of runs for him in this session. Kind of getting stuck behind these guys. There's Stuart Gratton. This is the first time he's run a blue scheme in this series, or in this, or this season, I should say. The Rockingham winner right there. He is currently in the... Uh, Probably saw him before I did, the 29th position. Defending champion right there. And here's John Art, defending winner of the Carhartt 400K. Hoping to see him uh, improve his time here. He's currently uh, 31st. Not the best of runs right now for him, and this has been the same story all season long and I gotta tell you I have checked in multiple times the ratings are equal for all these drivers it is completely random how fast you go in these sessions and of course how fast you go in these sessions determines where you start in the race and where you start in the race determines where you finish um, and how well you do so the tough one for John Arndt this season I really hate to see it out of a veteran driver I hate to see one driver just consistently get bad finishes lots of times to get somebody get a good finish here and there John Arndt has yet to do that uh, best finish is 17 points worth. Um, I don't exactly know what position that is, but maximum amount of points you can get. Second place, they get 35 points, so he's only been midway through the field as his best run so far this season. It, it's uh, really not been good, and I know I keep on mentioning it. I want it to stop. And the more I talk about it, the more of this game won't to shut up about it and let him have a good finish. 22nd, improved his time there, so it's working. It's working, don't worry, I'm trying, man. I'm trying, man. But anyways, as for the Uncharted guys, and there's our last winner, by the way. Pocono winner Adam Lewis, an Uncharted driver there. Uncharted's making it in at the moment. Tanner Palau, John Sheets. We can see who the rest of them are. Matt Tuck in the 45, and Ace Garcia barely over Nathan Stapleton for that final position. Stapleton in the 23 needs to improve his time. Gonna try to find him, and he's all by himself right now. You need a draft here at this racetrack if you're going to get a good run. I mean, that's how it is in most of these places that we're going to be going to this season. Bristol's going to be f something else. You're going to have 40 drivers all over the racetrack there. Uh, that, that's going to be uh, very fascinating. Uh, but drafting is just a big, big thing, especially in these trucks. These trucks... A lot of downforce. You get behind somebody, you're going to get a good run no matter where you are. Some three-wide action here in qualifying. We see this a lot. These qualifying sessions are nothing like the real-life qualifying sessions. Let me tell you, that Nicholas Avi aborting the racetrack. So right now, top 10. Cookie Helms in the 29, still holding on to the top spot. Uh, find him on the racetrack here. There he is. Zach Ryan, Marty Johnson, Justin Heath, Tanner Palau, Al Agassi, Jonathan Reigns, John Sheets, Tristan Allen, and Zachary Fitzwater, the top 10. So guys who have had uh, tough seasons, especially the veterans. Matt Delio in the 13, Trey Bartow in the 33, Garrett Sonor in the 16. Those three drivers, and they are all in the top five for the wins list on Napa Fan, by the way. They are all outside the top 30 in points, I do believe. That is how well these rookies have run this season here in the Napa Truck Series. Of course, we've had some veteran drivers like Stuart Bratton and Tristan Allen win this season. But for those guys who are pretty much the big names of this channel, it has been the total opposite. And uh, here it's Anor, six, or an 18-time winner. Matt Delio, a 16-time winner. And Trey Bartow, a 14-time winner. None of those guys have even come close to victory lane this season.
None of them. It's been a very interesting season so far here in the Napa Truck Series. And these qualifying sessions definitely have played into it. And the way we determine which of these unchartered drivers make it into the race. So we've had a lot of these unchartered drivers starting up front in these events. That's why we've had two of them win races so far this season. And uh, that has definitely shook things up for these full-time guys. Um, you see these guys here. There's Garrett Sinor in the 16. He's 13th fastest right now. Bonsignor is 14th fastest. So a good run for Bonsignor right now in the number 18. in a row in the 22 who is the points leader is 30th right now so that's good news for Bonsignor I don't know where Canario is in the 50 he's 35th so, so Bonsignor of the top three in the points of course Cookie Helms is only one point behind Bonsignor and he just won the pole here at the Texas Motor Speedway for the Carhartt 400k Drivers, which will be run tomorrow night under the lights here at Texas by the way so it's going to be a night race yet again here in the Napa Truck Series. Zach Ryan, Marty Johnson, Justin Heath, Tanner Palau makes it in, along with John Sheets, Matt Tuck, and Ace Garcia. None of those positions changed since the last time we saw them. Nathan Stapleton barely missing out on racing tomorrow in the number 23. Uh, I'm Adam Lewis, Eli Bright, Jonathan King as well. They all fail to qualify here for the Texas race here in the Napa Truck Series. See all those guys there in the list and where they'll start if you take out those bottom four drivers in all caps it will be cookie helms leading the field to the green flag tomorrow night for the carhartt 400k be interesting to see if alex bonsignor can take the points lead back here he's got a good chance of doing so starting well ahead of the two guys ahead of him in points but cookie helms only one point behind is starting on the pole so it's going to shake up in the points after tomorrow night, let me tell you that. But anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. Congratulations to Cookie Helms, pole sitter, here at the Texas Motor Speedway. And uh, I would like to thank my mother for cleaning my room for me. Thanks, Mom. I love you. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow night for the Carhartt 400K here at the Texas Motor Speedway on NapaFan. I'll see you guys later.